Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce a new QGIS feature on 3D tiles. This amazing new feature was developed by North Road and Lutra Consulting, who were awarded a grant from Cesium to introduce 3D tile support in QGIS. This feature is available from version 3.34 Prism. What are 3D tiles? 3D tiles are a standard, an OGC community standard for streaming and rendering large-scale 3D spatial datasets. They use a hierarchical structure to efficiently manage and display 3D content, optimizing performance by dynamically loading appropriate levels of detail. In that way, it's very similar to vector tiles. Currently, QGIS only supports the Cesium uh, 1.0 format fully and uh, parts of the uh, Cesium 1.1 format. And why is this so useful to having QGIS? That's because it is another great spatial uh, data source and many countries are developing digital twins and provide uh, data in this format. And therefore it's also great to use as a 3D base map in the 3D view when you want to combine it with other spatial data and other 3D spatial data. So let's have a look at how we can add these layers to QGIS. From QGIS 3.34, you will find in the browser panel the Scenes folder where all your 3D tiles will be shown. You can easily add the 3D tile using the Data Source Manager and then go to Scene. You can add as a source type a local file and then you need to look for tileset.json files. Or you can link to a service on the web. And that's what we're going to do here. You can find 3D tiles on the web and uh, this website shows examples for the Netherlands. I'm going to add 3D tiles for a part of Rotterdam. Simply uh, right click on the link and copy the link. Back in QGIS, click new to create a new Cesium 3D tiles connection. Give it a name. Here I just call it Rotterdam. And then I paste the URL. Click OK and click Add. And then the 3D tile will be added to your QGIS map canvas. Now we can clearly see the mesh structure of the buildings in this 3D tile. Just to be sure that I'm in the correct location, I also add an XYZ tile from OpenStreetMap and overlay this with the 3D tile. And you see it fits. I'm just going to adjust the projection to uh, the projection of the Netherlands. Let's have a look at the layer styling panel. The 3D tiles for now only have the textured and wireframe renderers. If we go to wireframe, I can have a look at uh, the mesh, which has been flattened to 2D, but I can see here the faces of the mesh. I can check the box to use texture colors, but this layer doesn't have uh, colors in the uh, texture, so uh, that doesn't do much, but you will see later what that does. Let's have a look in the 3D view. Let's maximize the view and have a look at uh, the 3D buildings. And here they show up. And uh, the behavior is very similar to other uh, data sources that we could already use in the 3D view, such as uh, point clouds or 3D shapes. And uh, I can use similar settings. So for example, I can use uh, iDome lightning or show ambient occlusion or drop the shadows. I can also use the 3D measurement tool to measure uh, 3D distances between objects. So let's say from this rooftop to the next building and there it gives me the 3D distance. In a similar way, I can uh, measure the height of a building. Here you see that I'm not straight, so I'm going to do this again. There we have the height. 
So that was a very simple example. Now let's have a look at a more uh, impressive example. And therefore I'm going to install the new Cesium Ion plugin. Cesium Ion is a cloud-based platform for managing and streaming 3D geospatial data. And with this plugin, we can uh, use it in uh, QGIS, but you first need to configure it. And uh, you need to uh, have an account and uh, a token, but that will be automatically uh, linked. It will be uh, stored at the level of your project. So when you share your project, others uh, can use your token and don't need to bother about it. So when I first click there on uh, Cesium Ion, it will open this page where I need to uh, give permissions for QGIS to uh, use this service. And that's done now. So here under Cesium Ion in the browser panel, I see two layers. You can also add other layers to the service. Uh, but by default, these two layers will be there. And I'm going to uh, have a look at the Google Photorealistic 3D tiles. Before I load that, I'm going to uh, set the boundaries of this project by going to Project. And in the Properties, I go to View Settings. Because these data sets are huge, I'm going to limit uh, the extent to the map canvas extent. We can easily check that when I zoom in and then I zoom to the extent, you see that we are zooming to the extent that we have set. Another thing that we need to do for these big data sets is to increase the network cache. So under settings options, you will find network and there you should make it at least uh, one gigabyte. So I'm just going to add a zero there. And now I'm going to load the layer. And you can use the existing default token. And then depending on your internet speed, it will load. And it will load uh, quite quickly because it uses these uh, uh, tiles with different zoom levels. And when I zoom in, it has to load more detailed tiles. And there it comes. So that's in 2D the effect of uh, using these uh, 3D tiles that we see more detail when we zoom in. And this can be visualized also through the wireframe. So uh, different zoom levels show different uh, degree of meshing here. And when it updates, you see that the further we zoom in, the more faces of these meshes will show up. Here it also uh, makes sense to use the texture colors, which gives the average color of the texture to the wireframe to fill uh, the, the faces. And it uh, gives a nice mosaic here. At the bottom you also see maximum error. We can uh, lower that and then it will uh, have uh, more details uh, visualized but will be a higher load on your uh, network so I keep it at the default maximum error of 3. I'm going to add a new 3D map and maximize it to use uh, most of the screen I'm also going to hide the compass and uh, let's uh, fly around a bit. I zoom in and then I'm gonna look at it in perspective and there we see these beautiful buildings from the tiled uh, data set from the Google Photorealistic uh, data set and here uh, we get a warning that our video memory is already uh, uh, limiting this um, so you need a good uh, graphics card with a lot of uh, memory and uh, of course it works uh, smoother for smaller areas but uh, this goes quite well center of Rotterdam and you see how detailed everything is in this uh, 3D tile dataset, which is freely accessible.
I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will add some additional resources in the description of this video. And please uh, subscribe if you want to receive updates. Looking forward to see you next time.